You know, when I saw this film, I knew we had to carry it. We got 500 of these bad boys in. We got them discounted out of the gates at InfoWars.com. Anthrax War, a film by Bob Cohen and Eric Nadler. And they're going to be joining us via video uplink live at PrisonPlanet.tv. And boy, their studio looks good. So that is coming up. Uh, at uh, the second segment of the next hour. So stay tuned for Anthrax War with our guest and get it at InfoWars.com, the newest film we're carrying. All right, look, I've spent too long on this, but this woman is crazy. She's saying I'm a racist because I'm against the Tuskegee experiment. And she sounds like she's black. I'm not sure. I, I can't tell. But the point is it's a liberal radio station. And, I mean, these people are under mind control. So here it is just said you didn't like the tone of my voice. See, Obama reads off a teleprompter. He's a slick Harvard lawyer. He says it real sweet, sweet and talks real slow and, and talks to you like you're a moron to make you feel good. And, and, and then they also get you to invest in the brand name. You know, right-wingers wouldn't listen to me about Bush because they were invested. They invested their ideology, invested their, their uh, personal identity in Bush, the criminal who had me arrested once for asking him a question. You can Google Alex Jones arrested by Bush. You know, so now I'm this racist. No, you are the racist. It is your tribal religion that the media is hyped up to get everybody fighting with each other. When they talk about how they want to fight racism, it's meant to hype it up. It's tribalism. And so it feels good to you. Anybody that criticizes your agenda and your leader who's abusing you and lying to you and, and, and playing a pimp game with you, then must be a racist. When I have c protested the Ku Klux Klan more than a dozen times, you can Google Alex Jones, Bullhorn's Klan. I've had police put me in handcuffs protesting the Klan because they were getting in my face and I pushed them back. But see, fighting that blacks won't be injected with syphilis, fighting for Hispanic children to not be radiated in federal government tests, fighting the Klan is now racism because I don't worship your corporate god, your manufactured president, Barack H. Obama, because I explained to you that it's a corporate-produced hype, and they had Republicans fight against him, so you invested with him mentally, and then you felt like he had a victory. He won, so you think you're a winner, even as your economy falls apart, and the banks steal $23.7 trillion, double the GDP. You've been suckered. You've been conned. But because he smiled at you when he stuck a knife in your back, you love him. So you like being conned. You like being gamed. You like being screwed. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. I care about you and your family. Don't drink the sodium fluoride death water. Don't take the flu shot in 76. The swine flu shot killed more than 10,000 people. Wake up to the new world order, my dear. You're living in the false left-right paradigm. I'm pulling down the curtain and showing you the bigger picture. You didn't understand my analogy of the matador instead of looking at the red tape the, the, that's the diversion that's the distraction hiding the sword behind it you couldn't understand that it's because since you were a small child you've been drinking sodium fluoride lady and that's it uh, before I end this hour I want to tell you about a few of the sponsors that have made this radio show possible then we're just going to go ahead and go to our guest starting first minute of the next hour so have them standing by uh, and ready. Uh, one of the sponsors that has uh, made today's show possible is New Silver Solution. People all over the world are discovering the benefits of supernatural silver. This powerful new nanotechnology is a natural antibiotic and preservative against infections, germs, and disease. Silver is one of the oldest natural antibiotics and is non-toxic with no side effects and can be used daily for prevention. Visit the link on InfoWars.com and see the studies for yourself. You cannot afford to miss this opportunity. It is essential for your emergency preparedness needs and is a great way to protect you and your family and friends. You cannot put a price tag on your family's health. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com today and see this new technology can do for you and your family. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. We'll be right back. Stay with us. It's already the final hour of this Thursday edition. We have some really big guests coming up tomorrow. I'm not going to announce them till tomorrow. In fact, make sure, let Kurt know on InfoWars not to announce the election on air. So I don't want to, I'm going to leave that as a surprise. Uh, for the next 60 minutes, we're joined by the makers of Anthrax War, a film by Bob Cohen, Cohn, and Eric Nadler. 
the untold story of the 2001 anthrax attacks and the dark secrets of the hidden world of modern day germ war research. And uh, yesterday is what the anniversary uh, of the latest Patsy, but the other Patsy's exposed that they were Patsy's, it was made up. So they went ahead and murdered this Patsy, killed him with drugs in a mental institution, but didn't say in the news that the government had grabbed him and done this. He'd actually been researching what really happened, so they had to get rid of him. We actually know who mailed out the anthrax, but they're a foreign national intelligence agent, so they can't be messed with. First, the FBI said it was brewed up in somebody's basement, and then it was the most, then it came out it was the most weaponized U.S. government version out there. Uh, but this covers the history of it and so much more. They got incredible interviews with government officials, you name it, in this film. They got an interview with the uh, South African race-specific bioweapons guy. I don't know how they got all these interviews. Uh, TV Guide called it downright terrifying. I was so tense, I literally forgot to breathe. Scary and troubling, daily costs, important buzz flash, makes a landmark contribution to exposing a story which until now has barely touched the headlines. And uh, that's uh, Gordon Thomas, author of Inside British Intelligence. It goes on and on here. Anthrax War is the untold story of the 2001 U.S. anthrax attacks and an investigation into the secret world of biological weapons research beginning the days after 9-11. It tracks the worldwide journey by the filmmakers who, following leads in the trail of dead germ war scientists, see, this is the missing biologist, comes to uncover an international bioweapons mafia. That's what Sybil Edmonds was talking about. It's Anthrax War. It's available at InfoWars.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. This is our big featured video. I want everybody to get Anthrax War. Again, InfoWars.com or 888-253-3139 to get it. We have it discounted out of the gates. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and go to Bob Cohn and Eric Nadler. Gentlemen, you, we've got you via video link. Where are you joining us from? We're in New York City, Alex. Great to be with you. Yeah, you guys, uh, it, it uh, looks good. I love this technology getting better and better. Here we are reaching millions of people on the audio and the video, and uh, here we are talking to you in New York. Good to have you here with us. Thank you, Alex. Okay, we're about to break and come back and some stations join us, but how did you get into the whole anthrax story as filmmakers? What made you decide to go on this dangerous mission? Well, we lived here, Alex. We lived here in New York when the anthrax letters were delivered. And uh, basically, uh, the 9-11 uh, attacks plus the anthrax letters was a one-two punch uh, against the Republic, as we saw it. And uh, we're uh, sophisticated uh, journalists, investigative journalists with all kinds of experience for mainstream news media. And when we decided to investigate this, uh, we thought... This was the biggest story uh, one could possibly investigate, the largest serial killing uh, that the FBI uh, wouldn't uh, really solve for six, seven to eight years. And when they finally did say they solved it, it was so clearly a patsy that they put down that uh, it was an insult to our intelligence as mainstream journalists. And thus, uh, we had to like continue the investigation on our own. Yeah, in fact, uh, you guys have worked for CNN, Rolling Stone, you name it. You guys are uh, award-winning journalists and filmmakers. Previously to this, you bring a lot of research and, uh, and gravitas to this. So when we go to break here in about 30 seconds, I'm going to come back, introduce you to the full audience. Some uh, stations don't carry the first five-minute segment. And uh, we will continue laying out this saga. But, folks, I'm telling you, this film is a barn burner, and everybody you know needs to see it because it opens up the whole world of BioShield and the 36 bioweapons labs and the vaccines and who these people are. This is a film that can really wake people up. Anthrax War, available at InfoWars.com right now. Be sure and get it. Just came out. 